What's going on everybody? My name's Chris. Welcome to my channel. I'm in the middle of an acoustic guitar build right now. Well, I just kind of started a month or two ago. So I'm at the point now where I have the back made. This is the back of the guitar, which I made out of two pieces of Indian rosewood, joined them together, made them thin to where they need to be. And then I've taken some mahogany and I've made these braces. So these braces need to go onto the back of the guitar. I need to glue them down to it. So the way I've chosen to go about doing that is to use what's called a go-bar deck system. I'm going to be making a go-bar deck in this video. What I have to do that is three pieces of two foot by four foot, three quarter inch plywood, which I just got from Home Depot tonight. And I've got a box of hardware from stumac.com, which I purchased from them. So I'm going to follow the directions on their website and see how this thing comes together. So the first step is to cut all this wood in half. So I'll basically have six two foot by two foot panels. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, next step is to, uh, oh, sorry. All right, so the next step is to glue these two pieces together. This will be the top, and to glue these four pieces together, and this will be the base of the go-bar deck. I think I may use some screws to help hold some of the middle layers together. So I'm gonna glue, screw gun, screws, clamps, and then uh, we'll be ready to go. And this plywood is by no means nice plywood. I mean, I got it from Home Depot. It's very low grade, very thin veneer. It's got a better side and a much worse splintery side. So I'm going to glue the two splintery sides together on this first piece. And I'm going to make sure that on the top and bottom, the better side is showing just to, because this is really splintery. It's breaking apart. I've already got a splinter from it. I don't want to be rubbing my hand on that. So I'm going to try to hide those sides. And I've got a little, like a little putty knife, plastic putty knife I'm going to use to try to spread the glue out a little evenly. I don't want to have too much glue, but not too little. I want it to be a solid glue bond. I'm going to try to keep it a little bit away from the edges just so it doesn't seep out all over the place. That's going to do it. So I'm just going to line these up as best as I can. So definitely not, a, not square pieces of wood, but as good as I can get it. I'm just going to screw a couple of screws. I'm not going to go crazy. I might put like just one in each corner. All right, I'm gonna put these other two together and I'll have the base. And then I'm gonna put those two together and I'll have the top. So what I just did now, I'm not gonna keep recording. You can just imagine in your mind what I'm doing. I'll be doing those same exact things to these two pieces and into those two pieces. So I'll see you when I get done with that. Well, there you go. Got the four stacked here, the two stacked here, 52 and a half pounds, helping me clamp the middle of this one. I'm going to let them sit overnight to dry up and uh, I'll work on the next part tomorrow morning. The next step is to drill a one half inch hole, one inch from each corner. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So let's see what comes in the hardware kit. A tiny catalog. Order 12 go bars to get started. It's basically fiberglass. It's really stiff, <laughs> very stiff. And I have a single solitaire blue latex glove. Got some just pipe, some threaded rod, and a little baggie of hardware parts. 
Looks like it comes with the instructions too. Just one sheet. It would be pretty simple to go together. All right, so I've already done this step, which is gluing the plywood together to cut it and glue it. This step's already done, which was drilling the half inch holes. So really, the last part is just to follow this diagram and put it together. So let's go ahead and do that. So I think maybe the first thing I'll do is take these propeller T-nuts. So what I'll do is attach these to the bottoms first. They just screw on the end of this. I guess I'll just go ahead and pass these through the four holes. All right, so I should be able to stand it up now. So I guess you can see how now it's a little elevated. I guess if I wanted to, I could force those T-nuts down in, but I'm kind of okay with having it elevated a little bit. All right, so what's next? Let's see. All right, so I have these support tubes. That's what they're calling them in the instructions. And I have these end washers. And the end washer fits on the end of the support tube. I'm gonna put one on there on the bottom and then slide it over. To the other end, there's some more of these washers that fit on the support pole. Fits right on top of there. And then we got the top. Let's get the top, put it on there. There. There we go. And then on top goes the flat washer. Hex nut. And then this little black protector thing. So let me get all the rest of those on. This thing's pretty hefty, so let me see. Yeah, I'll be able to pick it up like this and move it if I need to. <laughs> it's not so light. So you can see my go bars. You can tell that obviously it's not to be used like this. So if you look in pictures online, you'll see that on Stumac or whatever, you'll see that this go bar that usually has some kind of platform built up right here. So what I'm gonna do is just try to cut some two by fours and then a little small piece. I have a piece of MDF back here I'll cut and just set there and then put my radius dish in and see if that will work. So let me do that real quick. All right, so I've got this two by four foot piece of MDF and I'm gonna cut a piece just big enough to sit in between these two pipes and as wide as the, the deck here. I need to have room to cut this on my table saw, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this <laughs> where it needs to go. That's gonna go over here on this bench, which, which is an absolute mess. So I gotta clean it up a little bit. So let me do that. I don't even know why that's in here. This was a rabbit hole I went down a few years ago, making pins and stuff with a lathe. I haven't touched this thing in like five years. I'll probably end up selling it locally here pretty soon because I don't use it anymore. But I need to get this off of here. Let's set it on the ground. Let me see if I can go down without hurting my back. Oh. Okay, here we go. Ah. That's where it will sit. I do have a finished basement over here and it's heated so on really cold days I can take this in there when I gotta do glue ups where the glue will actually uh, be in the right temperature to be able to use. Alright so now let me cut that piece of MDF. Alright, I think that would be good enough. So here's the go bars and I can just slide those in here for storage which is kind of nice. So let's see, still got a ways to go. So I'll have to elevate this even more. Let me go get my radius dish. So I still need to come up. I really don't know how high this is supposed to be. I'll figure that out in the meantime, but all in all, you can see how it went together and I'm really excited to have it. And that's gonna do it for today. So the only thing I'll do after this is I'll take some sandpaper and break the edges and then I'll figure out how high I need to go with this platform. And uh, that'll be all to it. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you checking it out. And I'll see you in another video. Bye.